Welcome to part two of making an ice cream simulation in Blender. So we're gonna be making the ice cream from scratch. If you haven't already seen part one where we actually modeled and textured procedurally the ice cream, go ahead, check that out. But this is gonna be part two where we're gonna do the sort of oozing syrup simulation that runs over our ice cream here. So um, yeah, let's jump into it. And as always, I will be uploading this final um, blend file to my Patreon. You can check all of that in the description. So now that we're in part two, let's go back to our layout. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all of these lights that we created, we're just gonna select them and the camera. And we're gonna press M, we're gonna create a new collection and call it um, Scene. And let's just go ahead and create that. And now over here, we can just take that and hide it in the viewport. So now let's start by clicking on our main collection, so that's active. And we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go to our mesh options and add in a UV sphere. I'm gonna take this UV sphere, we're gonna go G and place it above here. Like so, we're gonna go S and let's just maybe change back our me transform pivot to median point. We're gonna go S and we're gonna scale it down about this big and place it above the ice cream. Then we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna to go to our mesh options and add in a cube. We're gonna go S to scale that cube up and let's go Z and go into wireframe. And let's move this cube like so and in edit mode, let's just move these up like so, so we have this domain. Okay, I might move the domain just a little bit lower here. And then in the side view, we can kind of make it a lot skinnier, just like that, okay? So now we have our domain, and we're gonna tab back out of edit mode, and we're still in wireframe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our sphere here. We're gonna go over to our physics. We're gonna give it a fluid. We're gonna come here to the type, and we're gonna make it flow. We're gonna to come to the flow type and we're gonna make it liquid. And we're gonna come here to the flow behavior and we're gonna make it inflow. So this is where our fluid's gonna be flowing from. We're then gonna select the domain. We're gonna to go to our fluid as well. Give it a fluid and we're gonna to come to the type and make a domain. We're gonna to come to the domain type, we're gonna make it liquid. We're gonna to come to the resolution and we're gonna make it 64. We're then gonna select the ice cream cone and we're going to give it a fluid. We're going to make the type effector. And let's grab this ice cream scoop over here. We're going to give it a fluid as well and make the type an effector. Now if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, you can see here we have our simulation already kind of running. Okay, pretty cool. Now the thing here is, is it's running um, pretty fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the actual, um, it's looking like it's quite runny. We want it to look more viscous and we can actually go over here and we can go down to the diffusion here, enable that and underneath there, you have a high v um, viscosity solver. You can add that, increase that value. The problem with that is that it, um, it adds a lot more simulation time. So what we're gonna do is in this case, We'll simply just go and up here under our resolution, we can take the time scale and make something like 0.1. So if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, okay, in this case, it's a bit too slow. So I'll make it 0.3. And you can see here with a value of 0.3, it's running a lot slower. Cool, so we'll stick with a value of 0.3. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to frame one, I'm gonna select that sphere, I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit more. Let's come to our end frame value here, make it 120. And then let's make sure we have our cube here selected, which is domain. And let's just go down to um, where the cache is here. And you can select the file. I'm just gonna to go to my desktop and I'm gonna just create a folder and call it cache. And I'll just select that and go accept. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here to where it says the type, we're gonna make it all, and we're gonna make it is resumable. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go to frame one, we can, we can make sure to save, and we can also come here to our cache and just change it to 120 on the end frame here. And let's click on bake all. And here we have it, it's now done caching, and this is the result here, you can see. And um, it's not true viscosity because we just really slow down a normal liquid simulation. But you can see here, it kind of gives us the right idea, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we'll select this domain, right click and go shade smooth, okay? And in this case, you know, we could probably give it some more. So if you wanted to, 
you could always come and you could bump this amount up you can make it whatever you want you can come over here and change it to 200 on the cache and you can just go ahead and resume and it'll bake the rest of it so you don't even have to go back all the way so that's pretty cool um, so it's up to you how much you want to do or how little you want to do with the length of the animation but I'll just quickly let it go in cache a little bit more and now you can see we have a little bit more here okay pretty cool awesome but anyway let's go into our camera view earlier in the previous part we added the lights and the camera so we're going to make sure just to enable that and let's go back to our shading workspace let's go Z and go rendered and we already added the materials in the previous part to the cone and the ice cream we want to select this domain we're going to go new to create a material and call it ooze and let's just come here to this principal shader let's come down to the transmission and give it a weight of one let's come to this roughness and bring it down to 0.12 Let's come here to the base color and let's give that a nice greenish kind of color, like so. And there we have it. Now you may have to make some adjustments to some of these area lights if they're a little bit too intense in the background. So I'm just gonna make a few small adjustments here of the area lights until I kind of get the result I'm looking for. You can see that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's just make sure to save and let's go render and just render the image and there we have it so that's looking really really good so this point what you could do if you wanted to is you could add in a background your own sort of scene that's completely up to you i'll go ahead and do that uh, make my own scene and then render it out but if you want to render this out now what you can do is you can go over to your output you can select a destination down here so for example like your desktop and then i would recommend you render out as PNG sequences and then compile them together but you could if you wanted to directly change this to FFmpeg video and then under the encoding you could change it for example to like an mp4 then you can just come here and render and render the animation okay but I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial I will be uploading this final result to my patreon all of that will be in the description below it's also a great way to support the channel and I'll see you guys next time